so it's like four in the morning uh, I'm getting ready to go um, and pick up an exciting thing today uh, I'm upgrading my camera um, to a mirrorless system uh, so let's take you up uh, in the journey first I need to get some coffee into my system this is not working <laughs> Huge traffic, so much for lockdown. Okay, so I came to the place uh, and I have to wait until uh, uh, the person who owns this place arrives uh, because these days they can't do business. Uh, but since I requested, they said okay, they'll come because he lives right next door. Um, so practically, this is his house itself so there won't be a problem. I just happened to notice that this lens, this is the Sigma 35mm 1.4 yeah, 1.4 it is actually very loud when it auto focuses so if you guys hear a small uh, sound, a ticking sound that is that. Um, I usually use the wireless mo uh, mic but then again I didn't bring it today because why not? I, I just need to buy a road uh, mic that you can fix uh, a shotgun kind of a mic also because uh, that would make more sense for vlogging situations. Uh, so these are the two options. I uh, like the Canon R. I like the Canon R3. When you take specs wise, both are hand in hand, similar. Uh, of course, the RP is newer uh, than the R. But then again, uh, when it comes to video performance, the R is really good. Uh, it has uh, native C-Log, 10-bit uh, HDMI out, 8-bit recording uh, within the camera. So it's really good. Um, so I'm actually playing in my mind whether um, that itself uh, makes the R about 100,000 more, whether that's worth it or whether I could go with the RP. I really don't know still because both are really good cameras. Uh, the only thing is that it, the, the RP does not have C-Log and the RP uses the LPE17 batteries which are small uh, whereas the R uses uh, the LPE6 or something, the, the big uh, ones, the one uh, the 6D Mark II uses. So I really don't know, um, I'm actually still thinking I have watched as I said all the videos but I really don't know I'm a, I mean I must go and see how it feels uh, because uh, for a week or so I've been using the 6D Mark II and it feels amazing I love the weight because I got big hands um, so I think I love the weight of it um, RP is considered as a smaller camera when compared to the R but uh, I guess we'll find out if you guys are watching just Give me your thoughts as well. If you are an RP user, what you love, what you don't love. If you are an R user, what you love, what you don't love. And towards the end of this video, what do you think about my selection? Let me know in the comments below. I'm sorry I couldn't video the uh, shop because, uh, you know, these days they are not letting anyone in. Um, so I didn't want to take the camera and be a pain to them as well. So I didn't record that. Uh, but uh, I selected uh, the Canon RP for a few reasons um, over the Canon R uh, but uh, I will tell you the reasons once I get back home on the next part of this video. <laughs> about the RP. There are so many different reasons. Um, as I said, I was going to buy the R or the RP. I had both things in mind. I watched all the videos. Still, I didn't have a correct mindset when I was going to buy it. I went there, had the look, 
at the feel. Not much of a difference. Of course, yes, uh, the R is a bit of a bigger uh, camera than this. I don't know. Um, uh, although it is having a bigger grip, uh, for me, both are the same. Uh, anyways, I'm going to use the grip extension of this as well because as you can see, my pinky, if I'm going to like shooting mode, it's a bit hanging, not very much actually. Um, still very comfortable to hold. Uh, being a full frame camera, this body, I am recording right now in the uh, 250D, which is also a great camera for beginners, but then uh, that body and this body is like so amazing that this is so much uh, feature packed into this small body. Um, so yeah, so here are the reasons why I actually bought the RP on top of the R. The R is an amazing camera, no doubt about it. The RP is also a brilliant camera. So there are about small differences when it comes to um, why we, you have to choose uh, the R on top of the RP. When the RP launched, uh, there was a huge bang on the internet. Since um, this did not shoot 24 frames per second on Full HD, now it does. So um, if you are having an RP, if you still haven't updated the firmware for whatever reason, please update it. It's superb now, you have 24 frames per second. So you will get all the cinematic motion blur. Of course, this camera doesn't have uh, 24 frames per second. That is why it looks a bit uh, too smooth, I think. So when it comes to the video department, the RP shines because it has more uh, dynamic range because it shoots native C-Log. So if you are a person who is into so much color grading, the RP would help. Uh, but from the reviews that I saw online, I didn't see much of a difference in that because especially people like Matty, um, they did a comparison uh, in normal uh, profiles and then C-Log between the RP and the R. For me, at least I didn't see it. See, if you want to upgrade um, to a higher end camera, just go for the R5 or R6 because it is so much better than the R. So it really didn't justify me uh, spending that 200,000 plus rupees um, just getting a camera because of C-Log. Uh, I mean, everything else is the same. It has the uh, crop in 4K. It uses um, one SD card, one memory slot. So that is also not there. It uses uh, the bigger battery, the LPE 6 or 7. So that is okay. But then um, since I was using the Canon 250D, I have plenty of uh, LPE 17 batteries, so that is also a, not an issue. Uh, the touchscreen is amazing. It, by the way, why does this have a slight angle like this? I don't know if all the cameras that I saw usually have this. Let me know that if you think it's an issue that I must replace it, but I don't think because I saw uh, Frono's photo also criticizing. So this has uh, a 26 megapixel usable sensor, which is good. Even if you want to do uh, wedding photography, you can do it with this. You can blow out the photos, you can create albums. So that is totally okay. The sensor is new. It has the Digicate new processor. So that is also future proofed. Um, of course, cameras like 1DX Mark III, they comes with the Digic X. So that is like the top end uh, one. So that is what, so it's all about thinking about what you want to do with the camera, thinking about your style of photography or videography and then selecting it. So when it comes to lenses, um, I took the lens adapter. Uh, I don't know whether you can see, yeah, I think it's focused. Yeah, so this is the um, RF to EF adapter. So um, why I bought this is because I had the Nifty 50 and also right now, since there are not much of a collection for RF lenses, at least in Sri Lanka, it's very expensive. It's in the pricey end. So what I thought was, uh, because there are so many better lenses in uh, the Canon EF L series, I might invest on those glass because it is again future proof because all the R series cameras, all the mirrorless cameras, uh, I can use this adapter uh, to uh, do the conversion. And of course, yes, um, when the prices goes down, hopefully in the nearest future, I will buy uh, the RF lenses as well. The RF is the top end uh, lenses 
from Canon right now. It has the control ring which you can customize to ISO or whatever the preferences that you have. Um, so yes, so that is it. So um, when it comes to customizations, this offers a lot of customizations. Um, uh, with the buttons, you can reroute these buttons to whatever the things you are liking. So for example, I have rerouted this star button for ISO. Uh, because uh, shutter and uh, the aperture is already mapped for these buttons. Um, so, and then one feature that I would really love you guys use is the touch to focus, touch, touch and drag. So what it means is that when you use the electronic viewfinder, um, because there's no joystick here, you can actually touch the screen and focus. I use this, uh, it's been like maybe eight to nine hours since I bought this, but I used it indoor uh, at my house. Uh, it works perfectly fine. It is really good. Um, that is a really nice feature that you can use. It's very smooth as well and it's spot on. So um, that is there and there are customizable features. You can um, actually customize uh, the C1, C2, C3 uh, for different moods. Um, let's say you want to sh uh, shoot uh, slow motion videos. This will give you up to 60 frames per second slow motion videos. So you can map one um, option for that and then one for studio setups, maybe one for photography. So there is a lot uh, of customizations in this camera that I am also still trying to figure out. Between the R and uh, the RP, for me at least, I didn't uh, find a, dif a big difference, a notable difference. I might be wrong, comment down below if you have different suggestions. I would love to hear that. I would love to hear where I went wrong. So as always, a like and a subscribe is much appreciated so that I can keep on creating content like this for you guys. So that's it from me. Catch you in the next. Peace.